Okay, so this is our last um, bit of uh, work on depreciation. This is where we're going to look at unit cost depreciation. So the difference in this one, it's not about um, when something becomes uh, sort of uh, scrap value. It's based on this idea of um, possible maximum output or usage or units, whatever it happens to be. So it could be example used here. So rather than looking at saying when a truck is basically at the end of the line, you know, it's a scrap value. So rather than saying it's going to be scrapped after six years, it's going to be scrapped after it's done 120 Ks, 120,000 kilometers. Okay. So it's, you know, if that does it in five years, it gets scrapped. And if it does it in three, it gets scrapped. If it does it in seven, it gets scrapped. Um, this is one way to do it. Okay. The actual depreciation of the truck for the financial year would be the measure of the number of kilometers traveled. So the value of the truck decreases by a certain amount for each kilometer traveled. All right. And that's what we basically call, you can call it, you can call it basically um, a unit cost or a depreciation rate. Now, depreciation rate is what is the sort of term you're using here more so. Unit cost, you'll probably see, in, if you look in the older exam papers and stuff, you might see it in t it's written in terms of unit cost. Okay, and I'm making that reference now because we're going to be talking about that in a moment. So the future value over time using um, unit cost depreciation can be expressed using this relationship given here. Okay, and what that provides us with is um, a, a tool we can use to work out what's going on. So our, you know, um, okay, so that, that's the relationship there. But what we'd actually, in the end, be using is something that looks more like V n plus 1. Oh, I've actually got that. I was just thinking something differently there. Um, sorry about that. And sorry about finding your razor there. So Vn is a value of the asset after n outputs. D is the depreciation per output, and V0 is your starting amount, okay? So you'd put the V0, this is what I was saying before, when you actually then do the equation, your V0 becomes where your Vn is, all right? As we've done previously. So unit cost or depreciation rate, as I set up there, let's put depreciation rate, that's the depth, just my short answer is right in depreciation, is purchase price or cost price minus the scrap value divided by the total production okay see our as we can see our depreciation is basically this unit cost so how much cost per kilometer how much cost per photocopy a page how much times n so n is the number of units so that would be the number of photocopies number of kilometers okay so that's the depreciation amount that's the other way you can write it amount of use times the rate basically the book value or our future value so that's vn equals this is a formula i was thinking about before equals v, v0 minus nd so it, it's got the same formula as um uh flat rate depreciation in terms of that basic formula there but we're talking about n is now outputs not number of years all right and D is that is D is that depreciation amount. All right. So, whoa. Length of time in use. This is where you're looking at the purchase price, or as we said there, the cost price minus the scrap value over the total depreciation rate or the units consumed or whatever you know what you're using. So, for that um, depreciation per year. All right. These are slightly different ways of saying the same thing. Okay, so let's have a look at our worked example. And I thought I'd actually, no, I hadn't got rid of this clearly. Okay, so let me pause it for a moment. I'm gonna clean this up. Okay, so I didn't clear all of it, just clear, I thought I'd clear a little bit just so part of it's already written there, but some of it still didn't make a lot of sense until at least I get to it. Um, okay. So we're setting up um, a recurrence relation to represent the depreciation. So remember, this is our recurrence relation. All right. So it's Vn minus D 
and we're saying v0 is our um is our you know our starting value basically and d here is a 14 per 100 kilometers so our d is 14. so that's your d so we're going to put that there is your d that is going to be your v0 and that's what we put there that gives us our v0 here okay so this is the relation that we're going to use the recur no, not use but that's the recurrence relation you need to write all right then use this relation to generate a um, depreciation schedule okay so we say basically you're saying for every 100 so um, you're doing it for 100 kilometers 200 300 400 and 500 okay so basically what you've got there is you're saying for 100 kilometers it's going to be minus 14 so it becomes for the first one which is v100 which was for, um, 100 output so v1 so it's v0 minus 14 okay that gives us um 11986 okay so then we put 200 in okay or I mean, I'm thinking the calculate part over but if you're doing this here it's basically you'd say v1 because that's now your pre previous one this is your new so that becomes 1196 minus 14 that'll give you 11972 etc 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 so of course you can just use the calculator to do it for you you're going to put 100 the units so outputs times 0.14 that'll go 100 200 300 and that'll give me give you 14 28 so it's remember that corresponds to that one to that one etc etc so then you're saying to your future value is 12,000 remember this corresponds to your um your v vn equals v0 minus d so in this case it was 12,000 minus d okay and you're getting that from to depreciate that that 14 you're getting this part you're getting from there okay and it does it for you so if you do this part and put that equation fill it down put this one in equation up here and it'll fill down it'll get your numbers for you and then from that you would be able to fill out a table with those the relevant numbers there okay so let's have a look at the next question next question question 20 okay a taxi is bought for 31 grand and it depreciates by 28.4 cents per kilometer um, driven in one year the car has driven that many kilometers find the annual depreciation for the particular year then we're going to find its useful life its scrap value is 12 grand okay so in this one we need to look at the depreciation rate depreciation rate d is given as 28.4 cents per kilometer per km but basically we need it in terms of dollars so in terms of dollars that becomes d uh, we'll get rid of the, didn't that for a moment d becomes 0, 0 actually i'll keep it there 284 okay so the annual depreciation for that year well in one year it's driven 15,614 k's okay so a we're going to have depreciation equals 15614 times 0 0.289 because the 289 saying 289 284 284 for every k it's going to cost that much it's driven just over did i say oh, that just about 15,000 k's and so you know that's how much it's going to depreciate based on that so i'm going to get a value of 
38 cents. All right. So what we know for B, B we're using the total amount of depreciation here. So that's this value, it's, it's this one here. So it's going to be, let's put total depreciation, total DP equals cost price. The cost price was 31 minus, we're told it was 12,000, it's a scrap. That's going to give you 19,000. Okay, so we know that, so what you need to do here is a distance traveled. This one you need to look at um, the fact that, so if we go back up here, this is what we, we want to use here. We want to look at the total depreciation over the right. Right, so this is this one you're using here. You're looking for effectively um, the time it's going to be in use slash um, the distance traveled. You're looking for the total depreciation over the rate. Okay. Oh. Ah. Ah. There. Okay, so what we're looking at here, if we go back, so it becomes the, the distance traveled, the distance equals total D, okay, so it's this one here, I should have used, pointed towards this, this, it's there as anyway, total D over the rate, so the total D was 19,000 because it's going to have to do 19,000 and we're going to divide 19,000, $1,900 dollars um, and we divide that by however many, you know, you know, the cost per kilometer. Okay, that gives us a number of 66,901 kilometers. Okay, that's how far you could travel for that 19 grand. All right, so it's looking, it's looking at saying the key takeaway here, you've worked out how much depreciation is occurring between you buying it and you scrapping it, 19 grand. You divide that 19 grand by how much kilometers per, how much cost per kilometer, which is a 0.284, and that'll give you a value of 66,000. Okay. Next worked example. So in this case, photocopier purchased for 10,800, depreciates at a rate of 20 cents for every 100 copies made. In its first year of use, 500,000 copies were made. In its second year, 550,000. We want to work out the depreciation each year. And what's the future value at the end of the year? Okay. So let's look at the first part, depreciation each year. So we're told that it's 20 cents for every, um, for every 100 copies made. So that's our D. Okay. Well, that's how we can get our D. So we use our D to do it. So depreciation though. So that's our little D there. That's eventually our V0. So what we look at here for A, or oh, number one, is I'm going to put depreciation in big capital, and a one is first year, is 500,000, okay, times... 0 0.2 because remember it was 20 cents for every 100 copies all right it's a thousand dollars all right second year 
D2, 5, 5, 0, 0, 0, times same, because that same rate is the same, equals $1,100. All right. So after two years, so that's each year what it would be. So D2 is one, that's the two answers you're looking for. So what's the future value at the end of the second year? So the total D two years is going to equal 2100. Okay. And remember our final value, or could also be called book value. You know, but basically what's going to be on the books at the end, it's going to equal, because it start off as 10,800 minus 2100. And that'll give you a value of 8,700. 8, okay. So that gives us the way we can use that sort of a sort of question. Okay. So you get so yeah. So this is what we're using initially, depreciation rate equals unit times rate, and depreciation amount equals amount of use times the rate. Remember our rate is our 20 cents per for every 100 copies. Okay. So in this one, what we've got is a cost of a vehicle was 20, just nearly 28 grand, and scrap value is just over 5,000. If it needs to be replaced after traveling 80,000, if the vehicle needs to be replaced after traveling, after traveling 80,000 K, so it's used for life, find a depreciation rate in um, dollars per kilometer. Okay, so the total amount of depreciation. Okay, so let's change color for now. One, so total amount of D, we've told that in terms of cost, it's going from 27,850 minus 5,050. That gives us 22,800. Okay. Find the rate. Well, the rate, do you remember how to get the rate? The rate is um, the total depreciation. So I'm going to call this one total D divided by total distance in this case. That would be 22800 divided by 80,000. All right, so our depreciation rate is 0 0.285 dollars per kilometer. You could write, or also write that as 28.5 cents per kilometer. Okay, so you could actually write that as 28.5 cents per kilometer. Sometimes the convention is to write it like this if it's under a dollar, but when you're using your calculations, you need to use it like this. Okay. So for B, so that's given us um, a one or one B or whatever you want to call it. All right. So that that's that's given us what the rate is. So we've we've been able to get the total amount in terms of the depreciation amount. So then it becomes the amount divided by the usage, in this case it was a distance. Okay, so now we're finding the amount of depreciation a year when you've traveled 16,947. Okay, so let's go black here. I'm gonna go two. So basically the idea of this one is the amount of depreciation in this case is how much it's been used 
amount of use times the rate. So the amount of use in this case was 16,497 times the rate. The rate in this case um, was 28.5. So you could do it two ways here. You could do it in terms of cents or you can do it in terms of dollars. I reckon just stick with dollars to start with. You can go 285. All right, so if you did that, you're going to get 4,000, 4,701.65 cents, okay? So that's the amount of depreciation when you've traveled that nearly just over 16,500 Ks. So next part, set up an equation to determine the value after traveling n kilometers. So this is where you would use, you've got, uh, you've got in terms of, um, this is what you'd be using, okay? It's that formula there, the final value so this is saying final value where V0 minus ND, where N is your number of kilometers in this case, or it's used its usage. So in this case, this final value, which is the same as saying VN. So we're making the, the proper thing. So we're gonna go VN equals V0 minus ND. VN in this case is what we're sort of after so vn equals v0 our v0 in this case if you remember was 27850 minus well we don't know n but we we don't know n but we do know d and in this case our d is 0.285 so we're going to go 0 0.285 n okay because that's what we need that's how what what the usage is so that's the equation we would use in the next lot of questions so next lot of questions next the set of question was find a future value after it's been used for a total of 60,000 kilometers well oops let's go four well what's its um we're gonna go v60,000 Okay, equals 27,850 minus 0 0.285 times, well, in this case, our N is 60,000 because it's 6,000 kilometers. That gives us 27,850 minus 17,100 equals 10,750. Okay. This case, it's asking for, okay, just checking that was there. Um, calculate the, so the next part was set up a schedule for the future value for every 20,000 Ks. So what you're gonna put in there is use something like this. This is where you would say your outputs kilometers, which is, Previously, we used time or something like that, but this is we're using outputs kilometers. We've got our future value. Our formula was 27,850, because that's our, that's our V0. Um, and then, and these values here are especially, essentially your VNs. The outputs per kilometer, so when it does zero, zero kilometers hasn't changed, 20,000. So it's going to go 20,000 times 0.285. Pretty much what you did down here. Then you're going to go 40,000 times 0.285. That'll be 2785 minus that. Same for 60,000, some for 80,000, 80, however far you go down. Okay. And that's how you can use unit cost. So it, it can be a little bit, sometimes a little bit tricky to sort of put your head around the unit cost as opposed to the other two, because the other two have got that the analogous stuff from the um, 
from the from the interest stuff, just slightly reversed. You got to change your, your thinking in this, so you, you're looking at the the usage of whatever you do, whether it's a photocopier, whether it's a car, and that sort of in a sense replaces the time the time part. Okay, okay, and that's um, unit cost depreciation. Thank you.